It doesn't seem like it's gonna be strong enough. How strong, what's it made of? So definitely not breaking. Doesn't look like it's even scratched metal. A lot lighter than bike locks that I have on my bike right now. Hmm. I like that it's really flexible. I would love to be able to use something that's this light. It seems great, it's really light, um, compact. I obviously couldn't cut it, so <laughs> yeah, that's great. Most cyclists understand that locks are a deterrent. It's about having enough durability to slow a thief down. For a racer like me, the huge considerations are weight, size or bulkiness, and ease of use. We all know how stressful it is to leave our expensive bikes sitting in public, but no one I know is gonna carry a chain or U-lock when training. It's just not gonna happen. So the challenge was to create a security solution that's light enough for training, easy to stow away on your bike or your pocket, and still strong enough to prevent theft. And that is when I started working with Auto Design Works. This has been no small design challenge. Locks generally fail the weight and security trade-off. Most are clunky, weak, or both. We figured out how to keep the weight of the lock under 115 grams while holding up to the most rigorous theft attempts. It is able to coil up into this compact, portable package. We achieved this with a patent-pending product design which uses multiple reinforced bands of high-tempered steel. It's brilliant. Everyone I ride with who's seen my auto lock has been bugging me to get one. We're pretty lucky to have a world-class pro racer like Jacob collaborating with us. The auto lock concept was born from the needs of cyclists first, but it didn't take our team long to realize there were many more uses. It's not even out there yet, and the people with our beta prototypes are already raving and showing us many other uses, both on and off the bike. It's just so simple, and we're excited about how our new cinch lock changes things.